Good morning, evening, and night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Today we are going to be playing the next part of Cooking Companions. So, uh, where we left off, uh, we pretty much unlocked a secret ending with Karen, and uh, we're now playing the actual supposed ending that we were supposed to go with. So, uh, we're just gonna... I'm gonna hop right back into that part where I left off, so I'll see you there. You grip the doorknob tightly, getting ready for what's next. Oh, uh, that can't be the real Gregor. You determine the haunt has officially begun. Some spirits move on immediately, others linger. And some... Some stop at nothing to give you a heart attack, or get you to fall down a flight of stairs, or cause you to wander into an early demise. No way of knowing which one the group will choose. The rain has stopped outside, you decide to go look out the window. Yes, oh, the floodwaters are completely gone. Karen would appreciate the good news, but not after locking her in the basement. No good reason to leave the cabin. Plenty of... Okay. You've been so busy you've forgotten to eat. You head to the kitchen for a snack. I'm looking around everywhere. Karen's hiding spot was too obvious. You take a few bites of meat. You lost more of your... Humanity. Not fresh enough. Oh well. You decide to crawl back into bed and get a little extra sleep. Uh huh. What? 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 Day? What? Day two. Day three thousand four hundred and seventy-nine. You have a strange dream. The clouds have parted. The rain has gone away. You wake in a cold sweat. What? There's a bone on. Is this another trick or? Good morning. She's still sticking around. You head to the kitchen to get breakfast. Your food is gone. That noise is coming from the living room. Anatoly? Nobody's here. Some deep scratches dug into the wood by the couch. Something is approaching. What's making that noise? It sounded like it was coming from the basement door. You go over to investigate. A cold wind is blowing through the hole in the door. You get goosebumps all over your arms. Is this a... Oh! Okay, someone's behind there. You wake in a cold sweat. It was a nightmare. Day 14. What is happening? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get it going. It's raining again. They're taunting you with dreams of a sunny day. You get out of bed and head to a living room. To the living room. You can still smell Gregor here. Should you have intervened with Karen, it probably wouldn't have changed the outcome. It also might have led to your death. What is happening? The couch is still comfortable, even after Gregor imprinted on it. Actually, save. You decide to take a nap, which quickly turns into a sleep. Day 15. 16. We are on day 16. You must have woken up too early today. The cabin living room is pitch black. No, no. You pick up a flashlight nearby to explore the darkness. Hey, Anatoly. I'm terrified. The first note you ever received, thinking about the messenger, puts a smile on your face. 
there. Terrified. Terrified. Here? Hmm? You notice the note sticking out from one of the books? I know you've been ignoring my other letters, so I am begging you, please bring back my daughter safely or I will need to get the others involved. I have left payments outside the door and will pay any price. Please let her go. We don't have to involve anyone else. You take the mother note with you. You decide to lay back down on the couch to get the rest of your sleep. Oh, my heart. My heart. Day 17. You, s you slept walked again. You can hear Potato mumbling in the drawer. Oh, it's you again. Tell me. In the first week, with that red-haired woman and the others, where did you sleep? You think for a minute, but come up with nothing. It's worse than I imagined. If I can be honest, it was truly horrific to witness. Still, nothing. You would routinely collapse in the middle of the hallway, sleepwalking into walls or worse, going down in the basement. I can't believe you haven't broken your neck on those stairs yet. You seem to survive almost anything. Do I have that right? Must be that addiction to meat. <laughs> or something else. Would you share that secret with me? Potato, I feel like, you know what? We're going to share it with Potato. I want to know that you tell Potato the secret. Wow. Didn't think you'd be foolish enough to tell me. I'm living longer than expected already. But this is good information to take with me. Thank you. Was that the right thing to tell Potato? <laughs> it's a delight to watch you fall apart. What does the red-haired woman have in store for you? You haven't thought about Karen in a while. Have many, how many days has she been down there? You do realize she's probably been feasting on the three. Still, she'll be much stronger than the last time you saw her. <laughs> Go downstairs. Put an end to this. Not for the Chompettes. Just for me. You head for the basement door. Oh... You quickly do the math in your head and determine Karen will be dead in the basement. It's been enough days, right? No, it has not. You open the door and prepare for the worst. Oh. It's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. Something is approaching. No. 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 Can you hear me? I've been down here the entire time. It's so good to see you again. There's plenty of bread down here. Why aren't you saying anything? I'll never forgive you for what you did. Put Anatoly through hell. You desecrated my corpse. Gave them that disgusting hunger. All of that is water under the bridge now. Anatoly's down here. Come have some bread with us. They always try things like this. Their anger, concentrated near their grave, leads to tricks and traps. You're not falling for this one. Why aren't you listening to me? There's bread down here. Loaves of it. Fine. I won't stop you from finding the others down here. One piece of advice? Beware of Karen. She's ill beyond repair. Gregor will try to talk you out of reaching that room. And Tully will try to talk you into leaving the cabin. And Karen will rip the flesh from your bones. We'll talk again. You feel Mariah leaving the staircase. You go deeper into the abyss. Okay. Now what? The walls down here. They're, du they're dirt and soot. Something is approaching. Who is it? 
Who is it? Uh. Hello? <laughs> I'm glad I found you. The rain outside has stopped. Did you hear that knocking? Another trap. Everyone's upstairs and wants to leave. Mariah was worried sick about you. You tell Gregor about speaking with Mariah. Guess I can't lie to you, huh? You just stood there while Karen took my limbs, doing nothing. Are you frightened by her? If you won't come upstairs with me, please turn on the light when you reach the room. I want to see the look on your face when that light bulb turns on. Can you do that for me? You nod. Heh. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for letting me lick the bowls clean. That was enough to keep him at bay. We'll meet again soon. Beware, Karen. Oh, God. You feel Gregor leaving the staircase. You descend deeper into the abyss. All right, Anatoly. What's up? The air pressure down here feels greater. You're getting closer to Karen with each step. Something is approaching. Anatoly. Hey, bud. You here? Ow. Thought you'd still be fending off that glutton Gregor right now. <laughs> Damn it. You tell Anatoly about meeting with Gregor. Ow. I was gonna try to see if you wanted to pick onions with me. You shake your head. Guess there's no fool in you, huh? You survived this long, and now you'll need to fend off Karen. I can't tell if I'd rather have you or her sticking around down here. You ask Anatoly where Karen is. Ow. She's just below us, waiting to devour you. Karen's, Karen's been practicing on her butchering again. Maybe she'll start with your arms? <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> Down here, the whispers have told... Oh. Uh, let me save. Let me save. Intervention by God. Down here, the whispers have told me about you. I can't even believe some of the things you've done. Worse than any war crime. So many whispers about those sorts of things. So many whispers down here. It ends at the bottom. Karen might be alive down here. But you won't be. See you again soon. You feel Anatoly leaving the staircase. You grit your teeth and keep going. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. Oh, you feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. Hello! Cabbage, no now. Hello! You, you've come so far. Proud of you. Yeah! As the leader of the Chomp Pets, I wanted to let you know we have your back. No matter <laughs> what happens down here, just call out, out just call out to us and we'll be there. Boy, boy. Honest. Boy. Wouldn't let you die down here. When you least expect it, we'll roll with you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sneak up on me. But sneaking up on you? Extremely easy. Are you deaf? Raspberry! <laughs> that was pretty cruel. Even for me. Your ears have so much dirt in them, they could probably grow potatoes. Ha ha ha! We'll have to work on those jokes, potato. Sure. Weren't you hiding in the basement room? Circumstances have changed. I wouldn't miss a killing for the world. <laughs> Just remember, cabbage, cabbage. down here, you can call on us. 
We'll help you out in a bind. And if you get lost down here later, please avoid the room where it happened. I can't speak for the others, but I'd like to forget uh, what happened there. I don't think we'll ever forget that potato. But thank you for coming along with us. Boy, boy. I wouldn't call it a change of heart. Because you really never had one, Potato. Damn it. I keep cl right clicking. You should have rotted it down here, but... I'm glad you're here to help. Wish I had a joke here, but what you did was no joking matter. That's enough. John Betts! Yes, ha ha ha! Let's help out. John Pets get in position behind you, ready for what's next. You feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. Took you long enough. Oh, what's up? Let's end this. An actual boss fight. A tear rolls down Karen's cheek. Should have never left you, Crane. Attack, dodge, Chomp Pets. You attack. You barely land the soft punch. Oh. You started to bleed. Karen laughs at you. He won't won't be burying you. Blood is running down your side. Oh god. Uh Chompettes. Hey, as leader Chompettes can't leave you hanging. All of us ready to help you out here. I see. You have ignored my warning to watch out for that knife. Please, survive this fight. We want to play hide and seek again. Sean Betts, <laughs> help out. Cabbage has filled you with hope. You gain 5 HP. Karen is mumbling to herself. Karen catches her breath. Karen readies the knife. You're going to taste better than Greg. A tear rolls down Karen's cheek. Should have never left Ukraine. Oh god. You attack Karen with a lunge. You barely land the soft punch. Karen lunges at you. You started to bleed. You will fit. Will you fit in the cauldron? Uh. Try throwing a punch. Karen easily died. Oh no. Ah. Uh, the cut is deep. This will need to be treated if you make it out of this alive. Karen catches her breath. Should have kept the door locked. Hey, it's Onion. me. Onion, come on. Help me, please. Blood gross. Boy, boy. Onion. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. I'm dead. I'm dead. Corpse lasts a week. Come on! How am I supposed to win that? Took you long enough. What? Chompettes, please. Raziel? Onion, my sibling? You shake your head. Oh, haha. Good luck. Bread, gain 5 HP. Oh my god, it said I should look out for the knife! Always marry Raspberry, you know me from now on. I've never acted married, correct? You nod. Are you going to devour the red haired woman when you win? Or leave her corpse to stink up the basement? We both know your answer. Let's end this. You feel a flood of emotions from the Chompettes. Anger, sadness, joy, determination. Your bones feel quicker like your reflexes are improved. The Chompettes have imbued a second wind inside you. What? What? That's it? That's all I had to do? Yeah! Karen's done! We have defeated Karen.
I got my knife back, too. Karen quickly stumbles down the hallway, turning left at the end. You're hobbling after her, but the room is pitch black here. The rot of a deta- of decaying flesh here is nauseating. You can hear the smell of echoes of Karen's footsteps disappearing below, making this room feel enormous. You can't see their eyes, but you can feel them. You're being watched. The staircase in the center winds upward, spiraling into the abyss. You're getting lightheaded again. Gravity almost gets the best of you a few times as you work as you work your way to the bottom. Your shoes stick to the floor when you reach the bottom. The smell of mildew and something rotten makes you gag. You can barely make out the outlines of door frames in each direction. You head east, opening the door. You feel Karen's presence close by. Mariah? And, oh, they're all, they got all messed up. Back together again. Drowned and dissected. The Butcher of Hope has returned. Where's Karen? Lost in the abyss. Her rage blinds her. Ravenous. Completely ravenous. She will never be able to move on. Bound to this cabin by you. She will never escape. Those that die in the cabin are bound to different rules. Fleeing west did nothing. Victims will always gravitate to this cabin. Always find a way to you. You wretch. You abomination. You horror. Turn on the lights and savor your inhumanity. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Reap what you have sown. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, Karen. I'll never forget you. What? So that was Cooking Companions. Okay. Plenty of meat. Okay. Not done yet. So there's more. What else did they got for me? I'll tell you a story, but do you promise not to laugh? I almost died when I was six. It was probably the coldest winter on record. My parents and I were snowed in. At first they had enough wood, but that ran out. My father hesitated at first, but eventually he made his decision. Before their wedding day, he chopped down one of the biggest trees in the forest. He spent months whittling it down, cutting the pieces. This is the same as earlier. Okay, so this is the same as earlier. So this is mother's chair. This was earlier. Okay. So what does this mean for me now that the game's over? I ended the game, right? Now what? Thieves, you grab your flaying knife and silently go up the stairs. You'll eat well tonight. Whoa, 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 let me load the game back up and see what I just fucking did. One minute, guys. Okay, we are back to it. So, oh, we are, okay, so we are back to where we need to be. So, I'm just going to quickly read. I'm not going to, standing, mother's chair, yep. This is the mother's chair story. Fire. Okay. Okay, a little mouse. How's that for a big breakfast? Yep. You hear talking upstairs, thieves. You grab your flaying knife and silently go up the stairs. You'll eat well tonight. What? So, so we're at a prequel now? Wait, wait, wait. Is this the beginning? The four look completely shocked at the sight of you. We... She doesn't look like she has the courage to speak. 
We've been lost for a few days. Your cabin is the only hut we've seen out here. Can we stay here for a few nights? You clear your throat and ask the questions you've asked thousands of times. Did you come on your own free will or were you sent? We were technically sent. Anatoly, we came on our own free will. The woman looks confident in her answer. They answered incorrectly. You, three, you clear your throat again, coughing profusely. You may stay in my cabin until you're ready to leave. So does that mean if they answer correctly, sh we eat them or not? The group looks terrified of you, as they should be. W wasn't that trail steep? Yeah. The group finally returns to normal. It's forced, but they attempt to save face. That walk was brutal, but this cabin is amazing. Full kitchen, running water. It really has everything. Finally, a place I can read a good book in peace. Well, years early. So. What? Rhina, check it out. Like, you finally. You fondly remember the taste. A cabin all the way out. What about that psychopath? These are the chomp pets! We lost them a few kilometers ago. Don't worry. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Hello? Come on, Ryan Rhina. Sun is setting. Let's take shelter here just for the night. You sure that's a good idea, Selena? Of course. Front door has a few different ways to lock it. Should keep him at bay if he shows up. Hope there's some snacks in here. Bolak. I guess we don't have a good choice. We'll head back to Zakopane in the morning. Don't worry about it. It's just for one night. You decide to join up with your friends inside. What is going on? I am confused. Selena, did you lock the door? All set. Oleg, Selena. So... That must be cabbage. This is bread? No, he probably went back to town. Is anyone here? No, yelled and stopped around. Nothing. So I'm Raspberry Rhina. Selena. Okay. This cabin is abandoned. Let's stay here tonight. What? Relax. It's going to be freezing outside tonight, so it's either him or us. Let's avoid making a fire. Don't want him to see us in the distance. N no fire? There's blankets in the bedroom. We'll be fine, Oleg. This cabin chills me to the bones. We'll need him. Hmm. Whenever Bolek gets nervous, he tells a joke to break the tension. Got one of Razael's classics for you. What do you call a snowman's kids? Children. <laughs> so I'm guessing Oleg is onion? Heh. <laughs> Let's split up and search the cabin, see if you can find any food for us to eat tonight. I'll take the bedroom. Leave the living room to me. Rhina, I'll search the kitchen. No need to help me. You sure? Of course. I know exactly where to look first. I got the Zakopane Junior Baker Award, remember? Selena. Hahaha. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Let's move out. Yep, okay, these are the chomp ads, definitely, when they were alive. So I guess they died and became vegetables your bond with selena oleg and bullock is unbreakable focus on exploring the cabin you only get one choice so choose wisely who do you want to help out first let me cabbage selena in the kitchen let me help selena so let me do i have yes i do okay yes i do we have Selena. Only if you insist. What area do you want to search first? Inside the cauldron. Find anything? Just some disgusting slop at the bottom. This cauldron is almost as big as, as heavy as your coat. Selena, ha ha ha. You're covered for fall and winter now. Saves my family a trip to Z the Zakopane market. Okay, so this is somewhere like Ukraine, Russia, somewhere. 
right. Uh, let's do countertops. Oh, wow. This mortar and pestle got a lot of use. What's that? Mor mortar and pestle. Blech. It's a cooking tool used to grind herbs, plants, and seeds. You haven't seen one of these? No. Let's go over to Oleg's house sometime. His grandma has one. Sounds good. Again? What about these herbs? Are they edible? Don't touch those. Whoa, why not? They're ancient. Would probably turn to dust if you touch them. Well, like, would probably still eat the dust, though. Rhina! Uh, cauldron again? Oven? Bone fragments. Selena found some bones. Chicken bones? Selena looks at the, at the discovered bones. Too big to be chicken. Not sure. Looks like it came from the same animal, but the sizes are different. Young and old skeletons? Correct. Put these back, though. It's grossing me out. You place the bone fragments back in the oven. I keep doing it? A deep char near the back of the oven. Like something was smashed against the wall and left to burn against it. Was something alive crammed into this oven? Did you check the cupboards next to the dry herbs? No. You notice a meat cleaver sticking out of the butcher block? You equip the meat cleaver. Empty. Did someone rob this cabin? The oven reminds you of one of those used in Zacopane, but the brick layering is so much more advanced. Maybe it's time to check on Bullock and Oleg. Countertops? Whoa. What's with the meat cleaver, Rhina? You like it? I stole it from the butcher block. You're freaking me out. Put that back. Put the meat cleaver back? No. He could still be outside, Selena. Rhino, we lost sight of him. Put the meat cleaver back. Don't worry. We'll stay upstairs close to it, just in case. Beside, it would scare Oleg too much. True, haha. You begrudgingly put the meat cleaver back. Okay. Let's go. I think we've checked everywhere, Selena. You're right. Rats. Did you check under the sink? You look underneath the sink, nothing. It feels strangely, strangely cold underneath, nothing. All right, let's see what Bullock and Oleg have found. Rhina, let's mosey out. Yeah, oh my goodness. So, what? Is this their backstory too much? Poxy, I'm going to say Poxy, Poxy, Poxy. Rhina, you napping? What? No, just staring at the clouds. Oh, yeah? The drowning of Mar... Mars... Mars... I can't even say that. Okay, let me actually save. I am actually... Marzana. I'm gonna say Marzana. Is in a few minutes. Let's burn that witch and throw her in the river. I heard you're the one tasked with the burning. You know how to shoot an arrow that's on fire, Selena? Duh. You can bring the green branch to the village this year, Rhina. I got that witch. Ha 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 ha. Alright, time to get up and get your head out of the clouds. Remember some of your past with Selena. Okay. Selena takes you down the river. Downstream is the witch Marzana made of straw and sticks. Her wooden raft won't catch fire easily. Have to aim for the body. Selena fires three flaming arrows at the raft, but nothing connects. When you finally catch up to it, the effigy has fallen into the water. Help me fish this out, Rhina. The weight is surprisingly light. I thought it was bad to touch the effigy after trying to drown it. That's just an old superstition, Rhina. Need to burn, then drown to complete the ritual. Gross, haha. Swim across the seas, let all the flowers bloom, and make the fields turn green. Whoa, what the hell are you two doing? Helping helping her back on her feet, Oleg. She's light. Come help us get her back to the others. I'm not touching that. Ha ha ha. Oleg. This is a very odd story. Thankfully, none of the adults caught you messing around with the effigy. But while Oleg was yelling at you, it felt like you were being watched. Across the river, you see a strange man. His greasy hair shines in the sunlight. Some of the oils are smeared on his vest. He opens his mouth in an awkward smile. His teeth jagged and uneven. Walking away clumsily, he le he 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 heads uh, in the opposite direction of the festival, right into the forest. You head over to meet up with Bolek and Oleg. Okay, team, find anything? Just some old toys in a drawer, really old toys. Bolek, I found this toy boat under the couch. Let me see that. Grandma made this boat for him. Raza. Who's Razael? Razael was here. Razael. The one and only. Could he still be alive here? 
Seeing him again would bring Grandma back from the brink. We have to find him. Agreed. Crew, we need to search this cabin top to bottom. Let's find Raziel and bring him back to Zakopane. You got it, Selena. Bullock, Oleg, come with me. Let's look around outside. Rhina, look around the cabin and try to find any clues to where Raziel is. That psychopath could still be outside in the woods. If you hear any of us yell or scream, find us, okay? Of course, Selena. Thanks. We'll be listening for you as well. I'll be fine. Crew, let's move out. Selena, Bullock, and Oleg leave you to search the cabin. What? Who's there? Nothing replies back. It sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. You walk over to investigate. Hello? International flight. Ella Jasa da Cabana? Now? Is it Portuguese? Voce esta relevante. I am. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Here? A drawing is pushed out of the cabinet. A door. The cage? Looks like someone used a piece of coal to draw this. Are these bars of a cage staring at a door? You take the cage drawing with you. Acho que hizo. Oh, there was. There was something in there. There was a face. Is it gone? Selena, Oleg, Bolek. No reply. What happened? Rhina, we saw something weird down the hill. Looked like an old fence with bones all over the ground. It could have been animal skulls, but couldn't tell from the distance. Heard some weird whispering before we got back to the front door. Find anything? You wouldn't believe me if I told you so. Strange whispers coming out from under the kitchen sink. Whispers? Was it a ghost, Rhina? I'm not sure. I couldn't understand any of the words. Hmm. Ghost. Ah. Uh, Bullock attempts to lighten the mood a little bit. Got another of Raziel's jokes for you. What a ghost like pouring over their food. Bullock. Give up. Grave E. <laughs> Heh. It was probably just the creaking of the cabin, Rhina. No such thing as ghosts. It seemed pretty real, Selena. Well, if you see it again. Let me know. That fence outside was absolutely terrifying. We can't let our guard down here. Yeah. Can we... Can we not split up anymore? I'm scared of getting separated now. Of course, Oleg. We're a team. And team sticks together through thick and thin. Rain or shine. Feast and famine. You're right, Selena. I just don't want to lose any of you. Like Raziel. That won't happen when we're together, Oleg. Bolek, you're a night owl. Can you stay guarded while we're asleep? Of course. Thanks, Bolek. Oleg and I will take the bedroom. You okay with the living room? Yeah. Thank you, Bolek. Wake us up if you see or hear anything. You got it. Oleg and Selena head to the bedroom, opening the door fully behind them. You lay down on the couch and quickly fall asleep. Close your eyes, but cannot stop thinking about the butcher of Zacopane. His third victim probably had it worse, stabbed in the stomach like the other two, but this one was different. The body was missing both ears, so investigators concluded it was a copycat to a series of grisly murders from years ago. 
What kind of person would take someone's ears? The victim's family and neighbors searched the murder scene top to bottom in the alleyway outside. All they could find was a broken window that the butcher used to gain entry. It was a mystery that nobody in Zakopane could solve. So Selena, Oleg, Bolek, and you teamed up to find the killer. Selena was naturally the leader, plotting out vantage points on dusty maps his, her grandfather had. Bolek brought snacks and what he called emergency rations, which was usually crusty bread from his pocket. Oleg was able to get investigation tips from his grandmother, a former detective, but only after telling her it was to find, find Raziel. Your investigations lasted more than a year, often getting to crime scenes quicker than the town investigators. You have a strange dream. You found the body early, so early that the <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. So early the blood is still leaving the body. The greasy haired man makes eye contact with you, wiping the knife on his vest. You look for a way to escape, but you're trapped in the alleyway. He slowly walks towards you forcing a laugh that comes out in unnatural, staggered segments. As he gets closer, you notice his pupils are absolutely enormous. As he brings the knife up, his face peels apart by lips, screeching in pained agony. You wake in a cold sweat. Oh! Something... Wake up, everyone. Bolek, it's like 3 a.m. I heard something outside. Was it one of those crows? They never shut up. It's him. Huh? Selena? It's him. What's the plan? Selena makes the group's secret hand signal. Only whispering is allowed now. Bolek, Oleg, eyes on the doors and windows. If he makes it inside, run out the front door or downstairs. Downstairs? What if there's less room down there? Then we need to manipulate the lights down there. Find the light bulb pulley, and when he gets close, turn off the lights. He's got that knife, so run for the front door when there's an opening. What What if there's isn't a working light down there? Our eyes can see better in the dark than him. We can run circles around him while he's blind down there. He doesn't stand a chance. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, Oleg. Oleg, can you outrun him? Of course. Rhina, do you see anything out the window? Rain hasn't started yet, but you can see storm clouds in the distance. Maybe it'll get too muddy for him, unless he's coming through one of the windows. The window glass is thick. If you try to break it, everyone would hear it. Whomever built this cabin definitely was here for the long haul. See anything, Rhina? Nothing. While keeping watch, I found this in the bedroom. Here. Black entity child. What the hell is this? Is that Raziel? Is that Raziel? Did Raziel make this? It had to have been him. When we found the body stuffed into the barrel, that creepy... That creep saw us and ran. Who would do something like that? A monster. That's right, Rhina. That was the last time we saw him. What's that noise? Get to the staircase now! As you run to the staircase, you see him standing by the front door. He wipes his eyes with his sleeves, completely drenched from head to foot. He attempts a smile, but it looks completely out of character. You slow down your breathing, making it to the staircase safely. Selena, ta Selena takes out the basement key, locking the door behind you. There, that should slow him down. Rhina, can you lead? Of course, Selena. Wow, he's determined. All right, we'll, we'll be right behind you. You begin your descent. Oh my god, what's happening? Let's play Ghost in the Graveyard tonight. You remembered some simpler times achievement? It's too dark out. What if one of the adults catches us? We're faster than them. Rhina, you game to be the ghost first? Why me? Because your eyes can see in the dark the best. The perfect ghost. Selena, haha, <laughs> sure, I'll go hide first. Hey, Oleg, yeah? You were slower than Bolek with a stomach full of herring last time. Pick up the pace this time. Ick. Trust me, won't happen again. Nobody trusts you, Oleg. Everybody laughs. As we're being chased down by a murderer, you hide behind some equipment at the sawmill. 
It takes the group two hours to find you. By the time Selena yells ghost in the graveyard, you've already tagged Bolek and Oleg. Ack! Eek! You're too fast, Rhina. Nobody sneaks up on me. Nobody. Oh, so that's why Raspberry says that because of the game, Ghost in the Graveyard. Rhino, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Just remembering something. Bullock and Oleg went ahead. There's no time for this. We need to go. You snap out of it and begin your descent. He must be searching for the key. What an idiot. He must be furious to be causing that much damage. Oleg, you find a light switch down there? Yes, yes. Get in position. We'll be right down. That locked door is keeping him busy. That door is pretty old, though. Did you see the holes in it? He's coming down! Run! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Your eyes strain to see further down the staircase. You can't hear him. What? Rhina? We have some... One special to introduce you to. Raziel, come on out. Don't be shy, Raziel. Rhino won't bite. Lost but never forgotten achievement. Huh. I? Nice to meet you. I'm Rhina. I, 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 I. It's okay. Your cousin is great, Bolek. Haha. <laughs> Just wait, everyone. Give him a little time. He has the world's best puns. He memorized every single one Grandma told him. Haha. <laughs> Grandma bought me this book. Razael, this is 500 pages long. Yeah, haha. Uh -huh. Everyone laughs with Razael enjoying a nice meal together with Bolek's family. Razael tells countless puns, jokes. Bolek howls with laughter and the adults shake their heads in agony. His joy is infectious, making Zakopane a better city for everyone. Except for one. Rhina, you're slowing down again. Selena. Razael, what about him? I, I keep remembering him. I see. I, he, crew, let's keep going. You continue downward. Oh, we're just in pitch black. You saw a place you shouldn't have. The room where it happened achievement. What? Holy... What? The light isn't working. No time to find a weapon in here. Let's keep going down. There's something in that giant mouse hole. I can see a light further down the staircase. There was something in that giant mouse hole. Like a... Like a skull. Your shoes stick to the floor at the bottom. You can barely make out the light to the door on the right. East? There's three doors. North, south, and west. Selena tries the door to the north for first. Locked. This room is tiny. How are we going to get around him? Rrr. Don't be scared. Let's try the doors and see if we can lock it from the inside. Which way, Rhina? Let's do the west. Locked. South? The door handle feels oddly warm. Throw open the door, turning around to see him. Leave us alone. You left the knives upstairs. It's four against one. Leave with your life. Ha 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 ha. Say hi to Raziel for me. Ha! So that wasn't... So this is a whole different story. So who we are comes in and has to kill this guy now. Why? You shut the drawer. We <gasps> cabbage! 
I saw that. Cabbage. Onion. Onion. Bread. Bread. They're being held back by their human emotions. They'll need a few months more at the very least. I'm in no rush. Let us leave. Now. You shut the drawer. I'd like to explore the cabin. See where those whispers are coming from. Can I... Leave the drawer. You nod. Thank you. Want to come with Raspberry? I'm going nowhere with you. Haha. Uh -huh. Poor, poor Raspberry. So, Potato was the killer. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Onion, onion. We've done a few annual Chompet comedy competitions since last time. <laughs> Want to be the judge this year? Ignore them. I found some fascinating stuff by using the mouse holes. I need you to explain what the hell this is. Were you fattening him up? Or were you scaring the hell out of him while you hesitated? You take the basement drawing with you. So that's Razael. I will never forgive you for this. You shut the drawer. Whee! It's Come time! It! Chompettes, sound off. Onion! <gasps> oh, never fear, Onion's here. <laughs> like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Always marry Raspberry. Oh, yeah. Potato? P -p Potato? You have nothing to give me now. Leave me alone. This is the only way to escape, Potato. We need to leave at the same time. I'm not leaving the cabin. Potato, please. Potato, we want to see Ra No. Cabbage tries whispering, but you can clearly hear every word. They can release us. Just play along and maybe they'll pity us. Yeah? I'm not working with them. But, but right now, I pity them. Just an old, disgusting, foul-smelling. That's enough. Potato's words cause a regression to stir inside you. Keeping these intruders around might be entertaining for now. You slide the drawer closed, giving them time to stew on their thoughts. So they were looking for their friend, Raziel. Don't miss the sequel. Baba Yaga? Red weight. So that was the Chompet's orange. Is that it? Yep, okay. That had to be it. There's no way there's more. You have a strange nightmare. Wake up. I said, wake up. She'll never forgive you achievement. The others are causing you to become weak. We need to get you back to normal. Less talking, less hesitation. Especially if someone is trying to become stronger than you. That used to make you upset, right? I'm keeping an eye on you. You ask for how long? At this rate, never. You cough profusely, covering potato in a fine mist. You're beyond disgusting. So then, are you ready to fight back against the nightmares? Punish the spirits that have made your life a living hell? Perfect. Let us give them no quarter. 
Close your eyes again and let's begin to traverse the abyss. You relax your muscles, getting ready for what's next. Welcome to nightmare mode. If you survive, you will gain some additional insight to the world of cooking companions, as well as unlocking new game plus and a Chompets only event. This mode is mostly just a joke, so don't take it seriously. From the main menu, if you select new game, you can immediately jump to this mode and other ones. If you make it to the end, you'll unlock the Chompets cabin courses, a Chompet only event free of humans. For the true cooking companions experience, this mode should be played in a pitch black room with headphones. If you still need to max out your relationships, don't worry, you'll get the opportunity to do so in New Game Plus. You should really make a manual save right now, don't hesitate. There you go. Thank you for getting this far, your bravery is commendable and will be rewarded. Thanks for playing, Dear Dream Studios. Oh, almost forgot. Nightmare mode activated. You wake up in the bathroom again. <laughs> this is my room. Do you see how dark it is? It's cold, but I can look at you. Look at me. Are you scared? No, 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 run, run, run. <laughs> I'm scared. You wake in a cold sweat. Your surroundings feel completely oh, different. Sick. Mariah's presence is enraged. She's beckoning. You get up and leave the bedroom. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. What a fitting end to such a horrible nightmare. You head to the kitchen for some breakfast. Excuse me? This will take ages to clean. You take a few bites of meat. You lost more of your humanity. You stare into the ash pile in the oven. Are they still upset? You head back to the bedroom to take a nap. Which one of them is causing this? Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor. This is Karen, 100%. You crawl in the bed and fall asleep. You have a strange dream. What? What? Okay. Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen? Karen isn't here. It sounds like she's whittling something again. Did she escape the basement? Karen? No reply. You head over to investigate. Another trick by one of them. Who's still missing? Karen? Someone is tapping on the window. Hey! I can't get the taste out of my mouth! Are you done, Anatoly? They're getting more bold in their actions. You head to bed to sleep on it. 666. Oh boy! Oh boy! The four have returned to the first floor of the cabin. Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen. Karen, what are you doing, bud? Come with me to the living room. Don't argue. You crawl out of bed to face them. Okay. Welcome. We've been waiting all day. Be satiated by this opportunity. Would you like to start the ritual? What ritual? A ritual to manifest alternative possibilities. Mistakes mended. 
Regrets unrooted. Let the others depart earlier than me. Let me survive this time. This means join hands with us and form this pact. This ritual is unlike anything you've ever heard of. Agreeing to the pact could result in horrors worse than death. Anger channeled and linked, extremely dangerous. There might be no going back from this decision. Think carefully before making this decision. This might be a good time to save the game. Yep. Have you made a decision? You nod. Wait, what? Why would I save Mariah? What? Reject offer then. You wasted this opportunity. Rotten hell. You passed some sort of test. Was it the right decision though? You crawl back into bed, still shaking from the experience. The sheets are drenched in sweat. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So, let me see what happens if I say yes. Wonderful, take my hand. Take Karen's hand. You've chosen correctly. I'm proud of you. See you soon. I think they just killed us. Oh, yeah. We were tricked. This is a trick. What? You and Mer- Thank you for getting me- What? No need to ask me the question again. I'm here 75% of my own free will, 65% my compulsion. She answered correctly? How did she know? I bet your arthritis is extremely bothersome. Do you want me to show you a special technique my grandmother taught me to help with the pain? Great, sit down in the rocking chair and let me get to work. You sit down in the rocking chair, watching intently as Mariah comes back with a towel and bucket of water. I hope this is the start of a beautiful relationship. Close your eyes and relax. Yep. Yep. Throws you to the ground, sinking the knife into your chest. Yep. That's what I thought. Exactly. It's finally over. No more victims. No more grieving parents. Your reign of terror is over. You're slowly bleeding out, but it's taking longer than expected. I'm going to tell everyone in Zakopane about what happened here. Once all that remains are recovered, I'm burning this hut to the ground. You try to get out a few words, but one lung has completely collapsed. Don't talk. Your hearing begins to fade in and out as you're losing consciousness. Unlike, I'm taking no chances. It's going to watch you die in front of me. Then, Ash, your body finally gives out, a stain removed off the earth. A storm cloud li lifts off every town. After the events in the Tatris Mountains, Mariah embraces her destiny. The lessons of the cabin would break most people, but Mariah uses it to become a stronger person. After burying Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen, she worked with the Polish government to eventually return home to Ukraine. In April of 1945, Mariah is selected to attend a conference in San Francisco. She is picked over Dmitry Man Manuleski to represent Ukraine at the first meeting of the United Nations. Elected to the first committee, she helped create the preamble in Chapter 1 with the UN. Years later, she would go on to form a committee to investigate atypical beings using the cabin as a blueprint. Countries around the world begin to document the numerous abnormalities impacting everything from death rates to food prices. The committee's investigations revealed that many historical events were swayed, either directly or indirectly, by these atypical beings. Mariah provided expert testimony for many of the trials that took place. The books and notes found in the cabin gave helpful insight for prosecute. Oh my god, there's so much reading! Prosecutory efforts around the world. Is that another ending? When she reached 85 years old, Mariah became bedridden due to cancer. Surrounded by loved ones, she tells everyone in the room about the cabin. I miss them. Anatoly, Gregor, Karen. But I can leave this earth happy knowing I shared their memories with all of you. I'm sure Gregor would be laughing right now. On March 15th, Mariah finally passed away due to complications. Surrounded by loved ones, her legacy is one of service and warmth. Cities become safe again. Children can explore freely. 
The world is now a better place from her actions. Reject the offer. You wasted this opportunity, rotten hell. Okay. So that explains that. You roll out of bed to see what it is. No, no. What is it? It feels like 3 a.m. No, nothing is moving around the bedroom anymore. Just your imagination again. You head to the basement door. Is Karen still alive? A cold wind blows through the crack in the door. It looks like it. You wake in a cold sweat. You wake up on the cold bathroom floor. The door is locked. Did one of them hide the key in here? Hmm. Where do you want to check first? Let's do the mouse hole. This mouse hole seems perfectly rounded like someone used sandpaper on the edges. Did the chompettes do this? Garbage can under the sink? It's empty like your soul. Mirror? You get ready to look at your reflection in the mirror? Nah. Under the tub. Mouse poops and dust have gathered underneath the tub. This needs to be swept. Okay, I can't look in the mirror. Under the tub again? Scratches. A note? This notice shall serve as a summons to the Zakabane courthouse. You are being accused of the following crimes. Public disturbance, foul language and demeanor, refusal to testify at previous court cases, refusal to agree to a search warrant of property. Your hearing is scheduled for October 20th. Failure to attend will result in your immediate arrest and penalties up to hanging. Sincerely, Judge Costacni Louise. May 4th, 1794. You take the court summons letter. Let's stick my ho arm in the mouse hole. Let's see what happens. Yeah, oh, the key is pushed into your hand. You pull your arm out, lifting out the toilet seat to take a celebratory bathroom break. Your hands are shaking uncontrollably from the whisper. The key has fall. No. Not sticking your hand into a filthy backed up toilet. Don't you want to get out of here alive? Don't sweat it, this key. That was the key to the chump as treasure box. Oh, it's painful to see all our clothes that were all bloodied. But it's the only thing we have left in this world. You don't have a shred of empathy, so you don't understand. Unlock the bathroom door. It's time to end this. You open the door and get ready for what's next. What's next? It's just a staircase, nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. Above your knees. The spirits aren't active right now. You continue downward. <laughs> uh, they sound active. The walls down here, they're dirt and soot. It's nothing. You keep moving downward. Karen, the air pressure down here feels greater. You're getting closer to Karen with each step. Something is approaching. Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen, you there? A false alarm. Are the spirits below going to spring a trap on you? You continue downward? Oh, boy, you hear something in the distance. Hey, Karen. You all right? Uh, don't, 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 don't. Hello? Oh! We had a conversation, okay? I'm trying to... 
Okay, he's just gone. He just left. You hold your breath and continue downward. Just random ghost boy. Something is approaching. Is it... What is that? Oh! When you regain consciousness, you're further down the staircase. You awake with a note to your head. It's difficult to read, but you can make out a sentence. Don't get up before Saturday. You take the Saturday note with you. The sound of rain has completely stopped down here. Your eyes are strained. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. You continue downward. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. You navigate the basement blindly until you reach the room with four directions. You can barely make out the outlines of door frames in each direction. Which way should you go? West. South. East. The voices of children still Sleep haunt you. Bolek. Oleg. Rhina. Come out. No answer. Maybe now isn't the time for this. You walk back to the basement steps trying to remember why you wandered this farm. Found you. Hey, Karen. What? Oh, okay. I guess you're dead. Bye. Jesus. Did we win? Karen escapes down the hallway, leaving a trail of blood behind her. You follow her to the room in the east. Hey, Karen. How you feeling? Turn on the light. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, Karen, I'll never forget you. Oh, and I finished nightmare mode. Let's go! We did it. That has got to be it, correct? There's no- there's a lot of content in this game. There's a lot of stuff you can, like, explore and do. Chomp Pets Cabin Corset- What is happening? I'm just being thrown in. Okay. Welcome to Chompette's Cabin Courses. We missed school too much, so we wanted to bring it back. Honest. I'll be playing the role of teacher today. You can call me Miss <laughs> Cabbage. Cabbage if you like. Let's just roll with it, alright? Ha 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 ha. Can't wait to learn some new things today. Me too. Aren't you excited, Potato? I dropped out of grade school so I could work at the butcher. That's extremely depressing. Explains everything so far. Is he quiet because he doesn't want to sound held back? You three are terrible at whispering. They never learn their inside voices, Potato. Ha ha ha. Cabbage looks at you right in the eyes. There's no dumb questions or wrong cabbage, answers cabbage, today. Cabbage. The Chompette's cabin courses are designed to let you passively Ooh, learn. Yeah. Your brain is porridge right now, right? These courses will be perfect for that. Cabbage. That's correct, Onion. And the best part? Cabbage. No silly humans to interrupt anything. You ask about dead humans. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Ghosts aren't cabbage. real silly. You ask about... That's enough. Cabbage. No questions about cabbage. ghosts today. Onion. Save it for a practicing medium, Stinky. Got a cornbread classic for you. What's a ghost's favorite food? <laughs> Booberry. You need to get bread up, joke book. These puns are pathetic. <laughs> ha -ha. Let the learning begin. You decide to listen to the chompettes. Although you have the feeling something else is at yeah, play. Bitch. For the first lesson, let's talk about the nasty oven. One of us was baked into a crust. You threw half of it away without hesitation. Human life is completely disposable to you. That's enough. I seem to have lost my place in the teaching curriculum. Oh, cabbage! You can see a cauldron in the famous artwork, The Garden of Eth Earthly Delights, where a birdman is wearing one like a crown as he eats and poops people down into a hellhole ah. club. Yikes. Ah. Wouldn't want to fall into a hellhole. Most of us were placed in this cauldron, stewing for a day straight. The smell was so foul. 
clung to all the linens in the cabin, absolutely yeah, revolting. Raspberry, need to speak with you for a minute in private. You can hear cabbage chewing out raspberry. Uh, what is another name for Brussels sprouts? <laughs> cabbage Patch Kids. Red, that wasn't even a pun. Or a joke. Boy, boy, it was more boy. like a stalling. Cabbage and Raspberry join the group again. Cabbage. Raspberry, is there something you'd like to say? Raspberry! There is. Cabbage, you've committed crimes against humanity. You're a scourge on this earth, sent to punish us. Cabbage may forgive you, but I never will. Wow, look at the time. This concludes the <laughs> Chompette's cabin courses. Did you learn anything this time, or did you just loaf around? Ha ha ha. Are you remembering it yet? Just join me in the boiling water sometime. Really loosens the meat off those old bones. Right in that nasty oven. There's nothing but a big pile of ashes in the oven. Have you seen that knife? Yikes. Big enough to cleave cabbage in two? Still left over in here. Dig in. The rules are different for people that die in the cabin. Everyone that does will know the kitchen well. The lucky ones are dead when cooked. The others... The others have told us what you did to them. How many generations died brutally at your hands before you gave up? Was it your arthritis that stopped you? Or did you eventually feel remorse? That's enough. Thanks for playing along today. It was fun to revisit some old topics. Let's sleep on this, shall we? We've made your bed. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Finish the Chompette's cabin courses. Okay. This is a very, very dark, dark story. Welcome to New Game Plus. This playthrough will have different dialogue events and decisions to make. And I told you guys we'll start with three hearts each. Oh. Okay. Mariah will not be available to Max. Damn. Jump scare mode activated? Just kidding. You can feel someone approaching. Wake up. I said wake up. I can't keep pretending anymore. Always marry. How could I be? I was the last to die. You try to reply, but instead have a coughing fit. Cough harder. I can see your jugular vein pumping. Pick your last words carefully. I'm sorry, Rhina. That's all I could really say. Yeah? I don't believe you. Prove it by getting rid of potato. Do that. We're even. Getting rid of Potato might be a fatal decision. Rhina has blocked before. Well, is Potato leaving the cabin? Actually, yeah, because they all want to go. If they all want to go and Potato's holding him back, I might as well help him. Fantastic. Follow through with this commitment and be social with others. Don't slide back into old habits. Okay. So guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for Cooking Companions. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay series. Uh, honestly, I would give it a play, you guys, just so you can get a better understanding of the story and whatnot. There's a lot more to play from what I'm looking at in this game. I'm probably going to play that more on my free time to figure out how the story is and all that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and I will see you for the next game series I do. So yeah, see ya.